Now, after three years of study and preparation, today 20,000 yearling Atlantic salmon were released into Alpena's Thunder Bay River. These Atlantic salmon made the trip across the state from the Platte River State Fish Hatchery, released, for, excuse me, raised from birth specifically for this purpose. Alpena was chosen as the first port south of the Mackinac Bridge on Lake Huron to be stocked with Atlantic salmon. These bright silver fish are genetically triggered to swim out to the ocean, so the DNR says these fish should head out to the big lake in the next few days. But the DNR wants these salmon to spawn and are hoping the females will find their way up to the dams on the river as Atlantic salmon lay eggs in moving water. While these fish are too young to make much of an impact now, by the 2014 Brown Trout Festival, they could be coveted prizes. What we're lacking now in Lake Huron, now that the Chinook salmon have disappeared from most of the lake, is that, that element of excitement that will draw people to the Brown Trout Festival and bring tourists to Alpena to fish. Atlantic salmon, we hope, will be that kind of exciting fish that bring people to Alpena. And what we hope we did today is something that's going to shape up to be a really good thing for the 2014 Brown Trout Festival. Johnson says that in the next three years, Alpena will continue to be a stocking location for Atlantic salmon, and his office is currently designing a research study to evaluate this stocking decision. While there were no cormorants flying around, the local cormorant crew was on hand to scare away any hungry birds. Alpena was the first of three locations to be stocked with Atlantic salmon this week. The DNR says in the coming days, salmon will be released in the Osable River and the Oscoda area. In total, 100,000 salmon will now be calling Lake Huron home.